Peppa Pig and the Ambulance. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear is visiting Peppa's playgroup to show the children an ambulance. Hello, Dr. Brown Bear, say the children. Hello, children, says Dr. Brown Bear. <laughs> Does anybody know what this is called? asked Dr. Brown Bear. It's a ambulance, says Molly Moll. And who can tell me what it's for? asked Dr. Brown Bear. <gasps> Taking sick people to the hospital, <coughs> says Peppa. Can we hear the Nina Nina sound, please? asked Freddy Fox. <laughs> yes, says Dr. Brown Bear. But we normally only use that in a real emergency. <gasps> Dr. Brown Bear, can you show us what you would do in a real emergency? asked Madame Gazelle. Wow! Yes, says Dr. Brown Bear. I'll show you using this teddy. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear checks that the teddy is awake, asks the teddy his name, and asks him what happened. <coughs> then he bandages up his arm. Wow! And because you have been such a brave bear, you get a sticker, says Dr. Brown Bear, giving the teddy a yellow smiley face sticker. <coughs> Wonderful, says Madame Gazelle. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear, say the children. <laughs> You're welcome, says Dr. Brown Bear. And remember, always look where you're going. <laughs> oh dear, Dr. Brown Bear has tripped over a ball. Oh no! Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill, <coughs> cries Peppa. He's rolled through a prickly bush, says Molly. <coughs> and he's hit a tree. <coughs> Apples have fallen on his head, adds Zoe Zebra. <coughs> oh, groans Dr. Brown Bear. <gasps> oh my goodness, gasps Madame Gazelle. Call an ambulance. The ambulance is over here, says Peppa. Quick, everyone into the ambulance, says Madame Gazelle. Hooray, shout the children as they run into the ambulance. The ambulance gets to the bottom of the hill. Don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear, says Madame Gazelle. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't need any help says Dr. Brown Bear. The children check he is awake, ask him his name, and ask him what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill, says Dr. Brown Bear. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? <laughs> says Susie Sheep. Which bit is hurting? asks Pedro Pony. My arm, my leg. And here on my head, <gasps> replies Dr. Brown Bear. Susie and Wendy Wolf bandage up Dr. Brown Bear. Because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker, says Madame Gazelle. Wow! <laughs> the children giggle. Have a sticker, have a sticker. They all cover him with smiley face stickers. Ah, uh, oh, ow, oh, cries Dr. Brown Bear. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works, says Madame Gazelle. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear, cheer the children. <laughs> it was my pleasure, groans Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everyone loves ambulances. Yay! The end.
Peppa Pig, the best pet. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have pets. But whose pet is the best? <laughs> Peppa has a pet fish. Wow! Is a fish the best pet? Pedro has a pet stick bug. Is a stick bug the best pet? Edmund has a pet lizard. Wow! Is a lizard the best pet? Zoe has a pet monkey. Is a monkey the best pet? <laughs> Dr. Hamster has a pet turtle. She wins. She has the best pet turtle. Peppa wins. She has the best pet fish. Zoe wins. She has the best pet monkey. Yes, yes, yes. All of the pets are the best. The end. Peppa at the Museum Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig build a pond. We'll start by digging a hole, says Grandpa Pig. Grandpa, asked Peppa, what's that in your mat? She has spotted something buried in the ground. Peppa has found a little teacup. It looks very old. Dinosaur! shouts George. <laughs> he has found something too. Yes, George, says Peppa. That does look like a dinosaur bone. <laughs> Grandpa Pig keeps digging. He discovers a gold coin. More buried treasure. <laughs> Granny Pig comes outside. She is carrying a garden gnome. I bought it for the children, she says. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Do you really think we have found buried treasure? asks Peppa. Grandpa Pig drives Peppa and George to the museum. Let's find out, he says. Mr Rabbit works at the museum. He is in charge of caring for old things. Hello, Mr. Rabbit, says Peppa. We've dug up some treasure. She holds up her teacup. Grandpa Pig gets out his coin. Fine china. Very interesting, says Mr. Rabbit. And a coin too. Wow. But George has found the best treasure of all. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit takes everyone to the dinosaur room. You found a Thigh bone, he cries. It fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Hooray cheers Peppa. <coughs> dinosaur! Arr! Says George. <coughs> Thank you for bringing these valuable objects into the museum, says Mr. Rabbit. Valuable, splutters Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Are they worth something? Mr. Rabbit nods. Oh, yes, they are worth a lot of money. <coughs> he puts Peppa's teacup and Grandpa Pig's coin in a glass case. Then he locks it up. <coughs> Mr. Rabbit wants to know if there are any more treasure buried in Grandpa Pig's garden. <coughs> Mr. Bull is an expert at digging, he says. Mr. Bull makes a very big hole, but he doesn't find much. Same as usual, he says. A load of broken pottery and smash stuff. <coughs> Never mind, says Grandpa Pig. You've dug my pond for me. <coughs> Mr. Rabbit spots Granny Pig's gnome. 
Now that's a rare treasure. It is very valuable. The gnome should go to the museum, Grandpa Pig decides. Don't worry, Granny, chuckles Peppa. I'll visit with you any time you like. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig. Peppa goes to the cinema. Peppa and George are going to see the Super Potato Movie at the cinema. Get your Super Potatoes here, shouts Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox's stall is full of toys. There are carrots, bananas and lots of potatoes. Eee, says Peppa. Can we get a Super Potato please, Daddy? Daddy Pig picks up a super potato. Is it made of plastic? <laughs> Better than that, says Mr. Fox. It's made of potato. Well, in that case, I'll have two, please, says Daddy Pig. Hooray! Here's Peppa. Super potato to the rescue! Peppa goes inside the cinema. She has spotted her friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie, says Peppa. Look, I've got Super Potato. I've got him too, <coughs> says Susie. Everyone, please take your seats, says Miss Rabbit. The film is about to start. The cinema is big and dark. Peppa's seat is right next to Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca, says Peppa. I've got Super Potato. I've got Mrs. Carrot, says Rebecca. Shh, whispers Mummy Pig. The film is about to start. After a little while, Peppa asks Mummy Pig to take her to the toilet. Is it in here? asks Peppa, opening a door. It is not the toilet. This is the projector. It's the machine that shows the film, says Miss Rabbit. Wow, says Peppa. You get to watch Super Potato all day. Peppa and Mummy Pig sit back down. The film is getting very exciting. Super Potato has rescued Mrs. Carrot, <laughs> whispered Susie. At the end, there is an extra surprise. The stars of the film walk on the stage. I want to be Super Potato when I grow up, <coughs> sighs Peppa. <sighs> Peppa waves at Super Potato. Show us how you fly. <coughs> Super Potato jumps off the stage and whizzes up into the air. Remember, children, he says, don't try this at home. <laughs> Oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema ceiling. <coughs> Miss Rabbit flies her helicopter over the cinema. Look, <coughs> shouts Mummy Pig. Miss Rabbit is lifting Super Potato out. <coughs> Super Potato has been rescued. Miss Rabbit is a hero. When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit. Cheers, Peppa. <coughs> hip hip, hooray! The end. Peppa Pig, George's Dragon. One day, P Princess Peppa and Sir George the Brave were playing in the castle gardens. Suddenly, a big green dragon appeared. P 
Peppa was a little bit scared, but George growled back, and the dragon smiled. <laughs> Sir George the Brave and the big green dragon became very best friends. Peppa Pig, Peppa's First Glasses Peppa and George are outside playing with their friend Pedro Pony. They are busy jumping in muddy puddles. Splash, splosh, splish. <laughs> Peppa giggles as she jumps up and down. Ah! Oh! Pedro exclaims as he slips into a puddle and falls over. His glasses fly high into the air and land on the grass. Where are my glasses? Pedro asks Peppa and George, stumbling about. Pedro can't see very well without them. Peppa and George look for Pedro's glasses. George quickly finds them and then tries them on. Silly George, Peppa says. She takes the glasses and gives them back to Pedro. Here they are. Thank you, says Pedro as he puts them on. Pedro, why do you wear glasses? Peppa asks. I need to, replies Pedro. My daddy said so. He's an optician. What's an optician? Peppa wonders. Pedro explains, an optician checks that you can see clearly. He does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Pedro asks Peppa. Peppa agrees and Pedro leans in close. Hmm, interesting, he says, rubbing his chin. Close one eye and say what you can see. I can see George. Peppa says. George snorts. <laughs> now close both eyes, Pedro instructs Peppa. Peppa closes both her eyes. I can't see anything, Peppa says. Hmm, can't see anything. Very, very interesting, Pedro says. I think you need glasses. Soon it is Pedro's home time. He waves goodbye to his friends and goes home with his mum. Peppa and George go inside. Pedro gave me an eye test and I need glasses, says Peppa. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. No one can see anything with their eyes closed, Mummy Pig explains. But, Peppa says, Pedro knows all about glasses. All right, Peppa, chuckles Daddy Pig. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. Peppa and Mummy Pig are at the opticians. What can I do for you, Mr Pony, asks Peppa. I need an eye test, please, Peppa replies, jumping up into his special chair. Of course, Mr Pony says. Put these special glasses on and then look at the chart. Mr. Pony is going to test Peppa's eyes. Can you read these for me, please? asks Mr. Pony, pointing at some numbers. Peppa says what she sees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Mr. Pony says, and now these colours, please. Red, orange, blue, green, yellow, uh, purple, says Peppa. Excellent, Mr. Pony says. Mammy Pig helps Peppa to try on some glasses while Mr. Pony checks the test results. Some pairs look a little funny. How about these, Mammy Pig, says to Peppa, holding out some red-hearted shaped glasses. 
Wow, I like these ones, Mummy, says Peppa. They both agree that Peppa looks fantastic in the glasses. Mr Pony comes back with the results. Good news, Peppa has perfect eyesight. Oh, so I don't need glasses, Peppa sighs disappointedly. But I really wanted some. Oh, Mr Pony says thinking, I suppose you could have some sunglasses. Peppa puts on a pair of red heart-shaped sunglasses. Fantastic! Peppa says, I hope it's sunny every day so I can always wear them. The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Australian Christmas. It was Christmas time and Peppa and her family were flying to Australia to visit Kylie Kangaroo. Hooray! I can't wait to see Kylie, <coughs> says Peppa. <laughs> yes, it's going to be a brilliant Christmas staying with the Kangaroo family, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> you did tell them we were coming, didn't you, Daddy Pig? <coughs> said Mummy Pig. <coughs> replied Daddy Pig. I thought you did. Peppa and her family arrived at Kylie's house on Christmas morning. Hello, Mr. Kangaroo, said Mummy Pig. My goodness, gasped Mr. Kangaroo. You're all here, again. We've come to spend Christmas with you, announced Daddy Pig. Uh, began Mr. Kangaroo. What an amazing surprise! Kylie bounded over to Peppa. Happy Christmas! she cried. Happy Christmas, Kylie! said Peppa. <laughs> You've arrived just in time! said Mrs Kangaroo. We're off to the beach! <gasps> the beach! said Peppa. On Christmas Day? Yes, said Mr. Kangaroo. It's hot here at Christmas. Wow. Everyone got ready for the beach and hopped into the camper van. Brum. Well, blow me down. If it isn't our friends from far away, said Mr. Wallaby when they arrived. Happy Christmas, Mr. Wallaby, cried Peppa. I'm cooking corn on the cob for Christmas lunch, said Mr. Wallaby. Hmm. Yum, everyone cheered. Christmas on the beach is great, said Mr. Wallaby. The only thing that would make it better is snow. Does it snow for your Christmases, Peppa? asked Kylie. Yes, Peppa said proudly. Sometimes. I've never seen real snow, <sighs> said Kylie. What's it like? It's cold, said Peppa. And fluffy and you can make snowmen. We use sticks for the arms, stones for the eyes and mouth and a big carrot for the nose. Wow. We do the same, said Kylie. <laughs> but with sand instead of snow. Yes, said Mr. Kangaroo, clumping some wet sand together. We use sand for the body and head and driftwood for the arms. <gasps> Pebbles for the eyes and mouth, said Kylie. Wow. And corn on the cob for the nose, added Mr. Wallaby. Ooh, said Mummy Pig. What could be more Christmassy than that? Look at that wave! called Peppa, pointing at a giant wall of water rolling towards the shore. Ho ho ho! A voice called from the top of the wave. It was Santa! On a surfboard! Santa! gasped the children. 
Ho, ho, ho. Santa surfed right up onto the beach. Merry Christmas! He cheered, hopping off his surfboard. I've brought presents for Peppa, Kylie, George and Joey. Merry Christmas, Santa! cried Peppa and Kylie. Thank you! Everyone was very excited to see Santa. Santa gave Peppa her present. She tore off the wrapping paper. A speed! said Peppa. Thank you! George tore the paper off his present to find a bucket. He jumped up and down. Bucket! He cried. <laughs> First Peppa used her spade to fill up George's bucket with sand. She patted it down. Then George tipped the sand out. Ta-da! He cried. <laughs> Isn't it brilliant making a sandcastle on Christmas Day, George? said Peppa. Sad castle, said George, giggling. <laughs> Sitting in Mrs. Kangaroo's pouch, Joey opened his present. It was a bouncy beach ball. Wow. Boing, boing, he cried, throwing it up and down. Then Kylie opened her gift. Ooh, she gasped. It's a... It's a... What is it? Peppa came running over. It's a snow globe, Kylie! She explained. Try... Try shaking it, said Mr. Kangaroo. Kylie gave her snow globe a shake. Wow! Swirly white snowflakes danced around inside it. Strouth, that's a wonderful sight, said Mr. Wallaby. Snow, gasped Kylie, amazed. <laughs> I've got my own snow. Yay! Now that I've delivered your presents, I think I'll have a paddle, said Santa. Oh. He kicked off his boots and walked into the sea. Ho, ho, ho! Lovely and warm, he said. Peppa Kylie and Daddy Pig went to join him. <laughs> what could be more Christmassy than paddling in the sea on Christmas Day, said Daddy Pig. I reckon the corn cobs are ready, called Mr. Wallaby. Tack in. Mmm, mm, delicious, said Mrs. Kangaroo. Christmas at the beach is so much fun, said Kylie. Yes, said Peppa, it's the best. <laughs> Peppa and Kylie love Christmas at the beach. Everyone loves Christmas at the beach. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> Peppa Pig, the best pet. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have pets. But whose pet is the best? Peppa has a pet fish. Wow! Is a fish the best pet? Pedro has a pet stick bug. Is a stick bug the best pet? Edmund has a pet lizard. Wow! Is a lizard the best pet? Zoe has a pet monkey. Is a monkey 
the best pet. <laughs> Dr. Hamster has a pet turtle. <coughs> she wins. Hooray! She has the best pet turtle. <laughs> Peppa wins. She has the best pet fish. Hooray! Zoe wins. She has the best pet monkey. Hooray! Yes, yes, yes. All of the pets are the best. Hooray! The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more.